Fabric Pool is a NetApp data fabric technology that enables automated tiering of cold data to low cost object storage tiers, either on or off premises. ONTAP doesn't need a Fabric Pool license when tiering to NetApp object stores like Storage Grid, but it does require a Fabric Pool license when tiering to non NetApp object stores like Amazon S3. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install a Fabric Pool license in ONTAP so you can tier cold data to an AWS S3 external capacity tier. Before we start, you'll need to download a Fabric Pool NetApp license file and have it handy, as that's what we're going to use when we install it in ONTAP. A free 10 terabyte capacity Fabric Pool license comes with the purchase of any new cluster in ONTAP 9.2, but because Fabric Pool is a new feature, existing clusters won't have a Fabric Pool license. If you don't have a Fabric Pool license, please contact your sales rep and get one. After we get a Fabric Pool license, we can download the associated NetApp license file from the NetApp support site, and then we'll be ready to add it in ONTAP. We need to use On Command System Manager to add a Fabric Pool license to ONTAP, so that is where we're going to start. Here, we are in System Manager, and we've clicked the Storage Tiers tab, and we're now on the Storage Tiers page. You can see the aggregates on the left, and on the right, you can see that no add-on features have been enabled. Specifically, we don't see an external capacity tier, like AWS S3, which is what we want to add to our aggregates so the volumes on them can take advantage of Fabric Pool tiering. So let's click Configure an External Capacity Tier and do that. Uh-oh. I see Storage Grid listed as an external capacity provider, but AWS S3 isn't shown as an option. That's because before we can use AWS S3 as an external capacity tier, we need to install the Fabric Pool license. So let's do that. We'll click Configurations, then click Licenses. Here we can see the licenses that are currently installed in ONTAP. You'll notice that Fabric Pool is not one of them, so let's change that. Click Add. Click Choose Files, and then we'll find and select our license file. Click Open, and then click Add. The Fabric Pool license is now installed. You can see a little green check on the status column, and we can close the window. The Fabric Pool license is now displayed on the license page. Let's click the Details tab and get some more info on the license. Here's the Fabric Pool license. We can see that it is a capacity based license, meaning the use capacity on the external capacity tier. ONTAP will tier cold data up to that capacity. If the capacity is reached, then tiering will stop. We've only purchased one terabyte in this example, but you'll get a free 10 terabyte capacity Fabric Pool license with the purchase of any new cluster. Let's click the Storage Tiers tab. And things look the same as before, but that's because we haven't configured the external capacity tier yet. Let's do that. All right, now we see AWS S3 as an option, where before we only saw Storage Grid. From here, we'll enter the S3 info, including server name, the access key, the secret access key, and the name of your bucket. It's a best practice to keep SSL on so your data will be encrypted over the wire using TLS 1.2, so we won't change that. After that's done, you can click Save to save the configuration settings and attach the external capacity tier later, or click Save and Attach Aggregates to attach the external capacity tier to an aggregate and set tiering policies on its volumes right away. This video is focused on the licensing process, so we'll save attaching an external capacity tier to an aggregate and setting volume tiering policies for another video. Thanks for watching.